Health stakeholders and researchers were meeting in Nairobi for one main purpose, to chart the way forward on how the country can win its war against infectious diseases and improve on its sanitations. Part of major concern to the government and stakeholders is the country's ranking when it comes to the fight against HIV and infant mortality. Globally, Kenya has been ranked position 130 and 113 respectively. I've actually uh, enlisted quite a number of uh, uh, people who are actually positive into the treatment regime. But don't mix the two statistical simulations. The global could be its comparison with other countries. But as a country, we in this area of uh, HIV, we have done wonderfully well. A lot of investment will be required to bring the level of um, health to one where you are comparable with uh, developed countries. However, there is some improvement in the ranking of Kenya's health indicators and the Global Competitiveness Index over the last eight years. Improvements have been noted in the fight against malaria and life expectancy. I am confident that uh, the programs we have put together, the flagship projects in Vision 2030, uh, will see our country being able to deliver high standards of living for our people and especially where health and hygiene are concerned. Despite the Abuja declaration requiring African countries to set aside 15% of the national budget to health, the government is not blaming county governments for not doing enough to implement health policies in fighting infectious diseases. There are some counties which are doing wonderfully well and there are counties which are actually not moving uh, as expected. So it is our, it is our responsibility to be able to uh, uh, monitor and actually document. Uh, we have actually come out with uh, each count specific issues. Where are they? What are the issues? How much would it cost? And what do they need to do in terms of interventions? In sanitation, the country is still facing a water gap in the rural Kenya with areas like Lake Victoria, Coast and Northern facing a huge water deficit. Brenda Zedaradido, Channel 1 News.